Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll be showing you an updated tutorial on how to use the latest version of the AR emoji that's on the Samsung Galaxy S10, S20 and of course on future devices. The app itself has been updated and of course this new tutorial will show you exactly how to um, find everything. We have a previous tutorial, it still applies, however, the newer version has some cool updates, things have changed a bit. So let's show you the update and of course to find the feature, go ahead and go into the app tray. You can do that by swiping up and of course once you're in the app tray, tray go over to the um, section. Usually it's in the first set of apps that was um, installed on your device. So as you can see here, this was the first set. You'll notice it here, right here, unless it has moved somewhere else. It should say AR Zone. If you can't find the app, go ahead and search AR Zone. And of course, you can see it here. Go ahead and tap. And of course, that's the first way to find it. So you can find the um, default app icon. Another way to find the app itself is to launch the camera. Once you launch the camera, guys, you should be on photo mode. Go ahead and hit on more. Once you're on more guys, up here you should see AR zone, you can go ahead and tap. I'm just going to use the traditional way of using the app. And once you launch, you should see this interface. There are many of, um, other features in here you can mess around with. AR Studio, the um, AR Doodle and so on, but the main feature we're looking for now is the AR Emoji. So go ahead and select the first one here. That's called um, AR Emoji Camera. Alright guys, so you can see me over here. It's now using the front facing camera. And of course, you can see me there. It does capture facial features such as uh, me closing my eyes. But of course, I'm way behind the camera. So let me just adjust the camera a bit. As I said, it's using the camera to capture my facial features. So sorry for the um, delay. I'm a bit behind the camera. All right. So it can see me very clearly. All right. Now let's get into what you can do to create your AR emoji. I have one pre-created already. As you can see, I actually have several. But of course, in order to create your own AR emoji, what you got to do is just go ahead and tap on the plus icon. All right. So as you can see here, um, the plus icon has been clicked. You're going to take a very clear photo of yourself. I suggest that you make sure that you have very good lighting conditions. Um, the that way it can capture all of your facial features. If the room is dark, it's going to miss your complexion and you're of course going to get a messed up uh, version of your AR emoji. So good lighting condition is needed. Right now I'm just going to take my uh, picture. All right, once your picture is taken, guys, what you're going to do here is select your um, age and gender. As you can see here, these the first, um, these lower two, more to the right are smaller for smaller kids. This two over here is for adults, uh, male or female. So of course I'm going to select the first one here. And of course you can always retake or you can hit next. So I'm going to hit next. What it's going to do is going to scan your photo. Once it scans your photo, it's going to generate a virtual version of yourself. And at, um, you just need to give it some time. As you can see here guys, it has taken the photo. Notice that it does, as I said, um, do an approximation of what you look like. Now, of course, it will never, in most cases, get it perfect on the first try. So what I recommend is that you go in. You'll see options down here. You can customize. So I'm going to go to the face. I'm going to go to the face. Notice it looks at the face as seen here. And of course, from here, you can look through. So for example, let's look at facial ear. The um, ear on my head looks fine. So I'm going to go to facial ear. I'm going to scroll through the options and I'm going to try to find something that matches what I look like. My beard is too um, thick for the most part. There you go. Notice now it um, uses the options that you have given. So you can actually customize your beard to look like what you want. All right. So I'm just going to look through and try to find one that matches best as you can. All right, guys. So I found a beard. Um, next, we're going to look at face. And of course, you can customize the usual shape of your face. Mine is fine. You can do eyes. In case you need bigger eyes or you didn't just get your eyes perfect, you can look at your eyebrows. You can make them thicker or thinner depending on what you're aiming for. And of course, you can do stuff like your nose, your lips. And of course, you can do your ears. You can do freckles if you have those and so on. All right. You can also mess with the attire which is one I like. So I think you should just definitely go ahead and try out the attire to make sure you get a perfect 
um, looking um, attire. So I'm going to look through until I find something that suits my needs. All right. So of course, once you find something that matches, you can also change the colors if you want. You can do undo. Um, you can look at the pants that you actually have on. You can place cooler pants on. You can simply go through until you find the perfect pair of pants that simply matches your character or that you don't want your character to wear. You can also look at a cool outfits. You can look at your socks and so on. So, so far I'm satisfied. Once you're satisfied, it next. And of course you can see my character right here. It's going to generate, it says it's doing its thing. So we're going to allow it to do its thing as it um, goes through and um, creates the animojis and stickers that you'll most likely want to use um, next time. All right, guys, so as soon as it finishes up, you should see all done. You're going to tap on. Uh, of course, once you do that, you'll get your animoji character. So as you can see here, guys, the character works quite fine. And of course, as you can see, as long as you can find my face, I have to place my face much closer. Forgive me, guys, as it's a bit tricky while I'm doing this on screen. It responds to my facial reactions. All right, so now that we have done all of that, let's show you some of the cool features that I really like. There's the scene option where you can tap the background to change the color. Notice the color changes as I tap the scenes. All right, so you can use the augmented reality version as it um, augments uh, my face onto what you're immediately seeing. Um, there is the mirror option. And of course you can play with your character in uh, real time. There's play. You can move your camera around. I like mirror. Notice the mirror option where it um, drops your character into a real environment. You can actually mess with the size to match the environment. And as you see here, you can move around, which is quite cool. So you can use this. Um, at any time, you can snap a picture by tapping. It will go to your gallery. All right, and for play, you can simply move your camera around. It will drop your character in and you'll start um, reacting or simply messing around. All right, so these features are quite cool. And as I said, guys, you can always um, play around the features as seen here. And as you can see, it's quite cool. You can have cool setups and so on, All right? So I'll end the tutorial here. So that's how to use the AR emoji, the updated version, in case you missed it. All right, guys, Ricardo Gardner from Block Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.